Two men aboard. But he's got the pitcher Steve Woodard up. Woodard with a ground ball. To Eats up Chris Gomez. Marquise Grissom scores two on Brewers. In the sixth, tied at two for Greg Vaughn. 42 homers on the year. Vaughn is in. Gone. Greg Vaughn with a drive in his center. 3 2 Padres. Same inning. Mark Sweeney. The chopper. Fernando Tatis covering first. Takes the flip barehanded. Good heads up play by Vina. 3 4 if you're scoring at home. Top of the 7 2 1 for Ken Caminetti. Crush. Padres win. Padres win by the final of 7 2. Sterling Hitchcock allows one earned run in eight innings. Caminetti's homers 24th had four RBIs. Greg Vaughn homered in all three games of this series against his former mates. To Atlanta, the Braves, the Dodgers, and the salad days are over because Bruce Fremming notices a distraction in the stands in the bottom of the seventh. Hey, you eating the salad. You. Get rid of it. That's taking charge. When play resumed, two outs, bases loaded. Brian Bohannon, it's Tony Graffinino looking. Bohannon had eight Ks on the day. In the eighth, one nothing Dodgers, one on, one out. Eric Carroll. Eric Carroll hit two bombs off Greg Maddox. Homers off Tom Glavin. Third homer in the last two days. Braves take a 3 nothing lead. 3 nothing Dodgers. Bottom eight, Glenn Hoffman sends in Jeff Shaw to close it out. Oops. Javi Lopez has just left the building. 26th on the year. Game tied at three. Tommy is not happy. Next batter, Andrew Jones against Shaw. Deep it's deep and it's not playable either. Braves go on to win it 4-3 on back-to-back -back jacks. The Braves had tried to trade for Jeff Shaw when Mark Wohlers began his struggles, but after the Reds sent Shaw to... Now the Yankees, the Angels, the fourth inning, no score. Jack McDowell on the mound. Has defensive help behind him. Derek Jeter, Troy Glaus from UCLA even. Throws it across. Nice fancy play. Seventh inning, 2 nothing Yanks. Tim Salmon's out at second. Garrett Anderson... He has successfully reached the 18 to 39 year old target audience. His 16th, not in this game. That would be a record. Tied at two. Same inning. Pettit still in some trouble. Minutes second and third. One out. Gary Disarcina, the 0 2 pitch. Going to left. And very hard. Glouse coming. Phil Nevin will score. The Angels get five in that inning. Show them what they've won. American League baseball game. The Angels get the first of five. Now on a 4 3 edge on New York this season. No score, some D here by Texas. Luis Gonzalez, the second, Mark McLemore. That's a good play. Check it out again. This is a live replay. Great reaction into the hole. Actually, there's no hole. The field is, is well put together. 2 nothing Texas. Will Clark off Justin Thompson. It's a two-run dong. 4 nothing Rangers. 18 for Clark this season. The eighth inning, 6-3 Texas. The bases are loaded. One out. David Cruz. The double play ball, Todd Zeal, military precision. E5, run scores, 6-4 Texas on the air. Eighth inning, 6-5 Texas, two out. Damien Easley to second, McLemore to first. The Rangers hold on to win it, 6-5. Aaron Seeley is your man, he's your winner. On Sammy Sosa going after 52 against Shane Reynolds. Chopping Brock alive. Mickey Morandini ripped off second, but he would be stranded. Then at 159 Central, the heavens erupt. The crops gather water. Rain delay a buck 50. Good card games in the clubhouse. Strange at bat here. Here's Mr. Reynolds. Reynolds, strike one, strike two, ball one. Again, the one. And then ball two. And now it's ball three, but he's awarded first base. What the? Jim Quick says go to first, Reynolds. Now the umpires converge. They try to find out what's going on. The Cubs manager, Jim Riggleman, comes out and argues it's three and two. Quick, the umpire gets on the phone to make a collect call, to make the correct call. It would not matter. Reynolds stays at first, but he would be stranded there. Sixth inning, Astros leading 2-1. Moises Salou. Home run. 38th of the year, two-run dong. Houston up 4-1. Sun coming out at 6-10 central time. But nothing for Sosa, and the Cubs get pounded by a count of 12 to the against Mark Gardner. That's his third of the year. He's going to get his name in the paper. Marlins lead 3-2. 4-3 Marlins, Joe Carter. Gone. Gone. Giants win. Giants win by the final of 7-4. Thank goodness we didn't have to delve into the rule book.
Jay Bell and Greg Maddox were separated at birth. Jay Bell facing Masato Yoshi, and Jay was cracking deep to right center. Top of the wall, Andy Fox scores. Bell into third with his fifth triple of the year, one zip Arizona. Top five, two zip D-backs, one on two outs. I said Bell was cracking, on and cracking. 17th home run of the season. Yoshi remarked, I couldn't think of how I could pitch to him. Four zip Arizona, Bell just a single away from the cycle. Bottom eight, first and second. On the 3-2 pitch, the runners go. Brian McRae, the check swing. Kelly Stinnett throws it to second. John Olerud tagged out. Sinet then appeals to check swing. Third base ump Bill Hahn calls McRae out and ejects Bobby Valentine. With the call reversed to strike three, the double plate ends the inning. Valentine said later, I get thrown out because they said I couldn't argue. That's not true. They threw me out for arguing what I can argue. Here's a replay, and another. After Sinet throws the ball to second, home plate ump Greg Bonet puts up four fingers signaling a walk. Stinnett no appeals the swing. Rule book for. check, people. 9.02, section C. Appeals on a half swing may be made only on the call of a ball. Should the base umpire call the pitch a strike, the strike call shall prevail. Base runners must be alert to the possibility that the base umpire on appeal from the plate umpire may reverse the call of a ball to the call of a strike, in which event the runner is in jeopardy of being put out what? by the catcher's throw. Strike out, throw out, double play, upheld. In effect, Valentine Somebody arguing the call is arguing like balls and strikes. That's why he was ejected immediately. Knowledge <laughs> is power. <laughs> Top nine, Jay Bell needs a single to hit for the cycle. Mel Rojas walked him in five pitches. Bell remarked later, that's three times this year I've come close, but it's the first time I've only needed a single. Out in the AL just once every 15 at bats, but Ken Cloud, he's, gone. he's just watching. Cloud retired the first 11 socks he faced, eight with the strikeout. There's Kenneth. I am amused by the simplicity of the game. His second in two days, 44th of the year. Mariner sent 11 men in the plate, scored seven runs in the fourth. It's 8-1. Yeah. Now it's 11 6 in the ninth. The base is loaded for Robin Ventura against Mike Timlin. I am king of the diamond. Let there be an abundant clubhouse feast. The finest meats and cheeses throughout the land. It's a grand slam. White Sox down 11 10. Timlin. Chad Cruder swinging, leaving. Mariners hang on, sweep the series, surviving the relief pitchers who coughed up seven in the lower. 21st on the year, 1 0 Rockies. Bottom of the second, 2-0 Rockies, Bobby Estelea against Bobby Jones. We'll, we'll double check. And Voyer, one of six Ks on the night for Jones. Top four, Mike Lansing against Lower. Oh, Scott Rowland. So much for a sophomore slump, huh? Larry Walker catching up on some reading. Game, the rain started pouring down. The game called with the score tied at five. What? There's no tying in baseball? Yes, it is. Listen up. There's going to be a quiz.